like this. Now, this. <laughs> Close your eyes, Kobe. Close your freaking eyes. Mug game, what's this, boy? Don, we back in the stand with a new video. We got uh, the Warriors should have never won this championship. First and foremost, I want to congratulate all Warriors fans and the Warriors organization. I'm going to let you have this moment. Congratulations! Oh, 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 oh my God. But I'm going to let you know this time next year, Kobe. Huh? Yeah. He said it's showtime, baby. Put it like that. Showtime. But this time next year, La La Land, the Lake Show, whatever you want to call it, showtime. We hosting a trophy. It's ours. Bron, come on. You feel me? I'm telling y'all. I'm going to call it right now. I'm calling it right now. Let's hop straight into this video and let's get a crack. Because I could talk about that all day. Y'all probably looking at me like I'm crazy, man. The Lakers, bro. Y'all got rust. Y'all ain't going to do. Watch, bro. Watch. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Oh. New shoes. New shoes. Shut up, bitch. Come on. Dust on the floor can become airborne. Bro, all right. Grab it with Swiffer Sweeper. The extra thick, heavy-duty cloths trap all kinds of dust, dirt, and hair on contact. See you, dust. And Swiffer partners Bro. with the American Association to support Shut up, bitch. Come on. But it's uh, it's a, it was a special year, all things considered. Now I'm in a new experience for me, Draymond Loon. Try to make the most of it. Come back, bottle this up. Everybody make the right strides. Take advantage of the summer. And who they lose to in the playing tournament that year? Oh, it was the Lakers. My fault. Shut the fuck up. You don't <laughs> want to see us next year. It's all right. Wait, wasn't it the Lakers? Then they lose to the Lakers. Wasn't it the Lakers? Or am I tripping? Do it. It's over. The Golden State Warriors return to a familiar place. They're on top of the NBA world. The fourth title in eight years. The Dubs dynasty is still very much alive. He called it. Against all odds, the Warriors are now the 2022 NBA champions. Somehow, this team that was dead in the water just two seasons ago has been crowned NBA champions. But this team had no business even being here in the first place. This Warriors team was never supposed to win this championship. A roster full of has-beens and fringe players making a run at a championship? That it's was impossible. disrespectful. <laughs> he said a roster full of has-beens and what, French players? Is that what he said? Well, at least it should have been impossible. But they've got Stephen Curry. And as I was watching Steph completely dismantle the Boston Celtics on their home court to close out the finals, I thought to myself, I'll more than likely never see another player like this in my lifetime. What Steph is doing cannot be duplicated. Y'all think he's the greatest point guard of all time? I feel like everybody's starting to say that now because he got his fourth ring. You know, but I'm like, damn, Magic, like, he's still Magic at the end of the day. How many did Magic have? He had five or six. How many did Magic have? I don't know how many rings he had, but five, right? He had five rings. Or repeated. He is truly a one of one. And I think it's time we take a closer look at where I'm he about ranks. Fact check there. Hold on. The greatest players to ever play this game. Because the Warriors should have never won this championship. Five. Dean NBA season. There's the buzzer. There's a new dynasty in the NBA. The Golden State And this Warriors. just proves that KD really didn't even have to do that. I mean, for KD's case, probably if he wanted, if he wanted the rings, but for the Warriors' case, bro, they really didn't need KD. You know, so Draymond was right. We really didn't need you, bro. You know? Once again, back-to-back -back titles, three in four years, and the latest with a sweep. Do y'all remember exactly where you were and how you felt when this happened? I do. I vividly remember watching the Warriors dismantle the NBA yep. year after year on their way to an all but certain championship. I remember sitting idly by as my favorite player was getting walked out of the building in the finals. It was inevitable and it felt perpetual, like the reign of the Golden State Warriors was never going to end and I would spend the rest of my days watching this unbeatable, unstoppable Goliath of a basketball team make quick work of every single organization that stood in their way. I felt hopeless. The Warriors pushed me to the brink of insanity, and it was never going to Damn, end. boy, the Warriors, as you stress like that. No, I ain't gonna lie. The Warriors was doing that to folks. Like, it was like every time the Warriors came on, like, I don't know. It was just something about them, bro. You just knew they was gonna do it. Especially when they had KD, and then they got KD. It was like, bro, 
Like, damn, what more do y'all need? Or at least that's what I thought. Oh, shit. Rocket trying to stay with Durant. Knocks it away, and Durant's slipping. Durant goes down, holding his leg. Thompson running the floor. And a foul. Mm. And Thompson grabs his left knee. Past the bid, and he pulls out on a shooting hand side. Oh. Steph Curry with a lot of contact. Uh oh. And he's holding that left oh. wrist. Oh. And that was mm -hmm. it. A five-year run cementing their spot as one of the greatest dynasties in NBA history all came crumbling down in a matter of moments. Goliath had fallen, and for the first time in half a decade, the door was open for other teams to win See it all. See how everybody thought the Warriors was finished? You know, how everybody think the Lakers just finished? Just wait, man. Shut the fuck up. Just wait. I know y'all probably think I'm crazy. Y'all probably think I'm talking out the side of my neck. But look, man, just let me just start talking, cause I ain't even trying to. Let me just start talking. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna Lakers see. Won their first championship in franchise history. The Bucks won their first championship in half a century, and the Lakers were crowned champions for the first time in a decade. The dragon had been slayed, and I could now rest, knowing the Golden State dynasty was behind us. <laughs> yeah, right. Six yeah, right. Remarkable run by any measure that only a handful of teams in the history of NBA have accomplished. Congratulations, you are the 2022 NBA champions. I couldn't have been more wrong because somehow, despite injuries and roster changes and ups and downs and everything in between, the Warriors are champions once again. We said they were getting too old. We said they were too injury prone. We said the roster looked like I a G League lie, team. I be hating. This shit made me sick to my stomach, bro. The fact that they really won again, bro. I thought we was done, bro. I thought we got rid of these folks, bro. We said they couldn't win without Kevin Durant. And they proved us all wrong. Just last season. Bro, we knew they could win without Kevin Durant. We seen what they was doing before KD. They just blew a 3-1 lead. That was just some... I don't know, LeBron was on some, I don't know what LeBron was on. That was something, that wasn't human, what LeBron did, you know, so shout out to LeBron for that. But they was winning before KD. We knew they could, don't lie. Going to win another championship, let alone a championship this season, I would have checked you into a mental institution. They went from one of the best teams in the history of the NBA to the worst team in the NBA to champions again in record time. Just take a moment to appreciate this roster that defied all odds and became champions. Out of the four 14 players that suited up in the postseason, six of them had zero playoff experience. Instead of seeking out the brightest stars around the league, I the lie, that boy Wiggins is cold, man. You feel me? He, I ain't gonna say he should have won uh, Finals MVP over Steph because that's just absurd, and I feel like only haters be saying that. But uh, he definitely was second. You know, above Clay and above Draymond for sure, and above anybody else, Jordan Poole. You know, Andrew Wiggins definitely did his thing. The Warriors don't win that championship without Wiggins, maybe, maybe. You know, because Wiggins definitely did hold it down. He had uh, Tatum on lock. I don't know where Tatum was that whole series, bro. Acquired players that fit within their system and maxed out their potential. They found value in guys like Gary Payton Ugh. Jr. and Otto Porter Jr. They saw immense utility in guys like Andrew Wiggins and Jordan Poole and gave them a chance to shine on the biggest stage. Even Andre Iguodala, the oldest player in the entire NBA, played a crucial role as a mentor. And He's a older than uh, Udonis Haslam, bro. Udonis, bro, I feel like he like 50 years old. Like, he need to wrap it up, bro. Be a coach or something. I don't know what Udonis is doing. That nigga crazy. Warriors throughout the playoffs. This was a masterclass on coaching, adjustments, and players buying into their role and maximizing their impact on the game. The catalyst of this improbable run, the once in a lifetime talent of Stephen Curry. Before this year, asked who had the most to prove and whose legacy would be altered the most with the championship. I thought maybe Chris Paul, Giannis, James Harden, maybe even Luka Doncic. Nope. But the answer Steph all along, Curry was Stephen Curry. Because now that he has a long-awaited, well-deserved finals MVP, the man has done it all. Four championships, two MVPs, eight All-NBA teams, eight All-Star appearances, two scoring titles, an All-Star MVP, most three-pointers in NBA history, and a finals MVP. 
One of the greatest careers the NBA has that ever boy seen. really one of the coldest man. You hear all them accolades, bro. He really did it all. <sighs> Damn, man. That boy, pressure. Years old, he is still as incredible as ever. Now, as NBA fans, we have an unhealthy obsession with all-time rankings. Moving players around on our all-time list every other week like some sort of sick game of musical chairs. But if we're going to be honest with ourselves, I think we can all agree that there are a handful of players that remain a step above everyone else. And these are those players. Hell now yeah. You can move Steph up there now. That's what he about to say. Where you choose to rank these players will be different depending on who you ask. Personally, I have them ranked like this. Now, this. <laughs> Close your eyes, Kobe. Close your freaking eyes. Time top 10. Ooh, I could be here all day, all night. But I ain't gonna do that to y'all. Hey, Kobe, it's all right, bro for years. The most recent player to be on this list was LeBron James, who's been on it for about a decade now. And before him, the most recent players to join this exclusive club were Tim Duncan and Kobe Bryant. Regardless of where you choose to rank these players among your all-time top 10, the players that make up this top 10 haven't Let me hear your top five in the comments right now. Give me your top five in order. In order, I'm going Mike, Kobe, Bron, Kareem, Magic. in over a decade. Recently, I was tempted to add Kevin Durant to this list, but realistically, no, I couldn't you bring can't myself do it. to remove anyone in his place, yeah, so can't. he remains on the outside looking yeah, in. Yeah, you can't do that. But after this championship run by Stephen Curry and his entire season as a whole, the time has come. It's time we add a new player to this list. I was about to say, yeah, you got to take Wilt before. out of there. Yeah, because Wilt, man, he, who was he playing against? Like, Wilt was never like, I don't know, I'm sorry, but and it's well deserved. Stephen Curry is now undebatably a top 10 player of all time. And this season has cemented his spot on this list. That's crazy. All -time player has won I don't know, respect. I'm blessed. I feel blessed to really be witnessing this shit. This is crazy because I witnessed Kobe, witnessed Braun, but like, I don't know, just me at this age, I'm really getting to appreciate it and take it in. Like Kobe, like that was like my childhood, my everything. So I was trying to be like Kobe, imitate him, just dunk like him, shoot like him and everything. But I don't know with Steph, it's just a little different, bro. You know, it's from a different perspective, I feel like. Organizations. This is a definitive requirement of greatness, mm. but only a few players made such a massive impact that the success of an entire franchise began and ended with them. Tim Duncan introduced winning basketball to San Antonio. They couldn't win before he got there and they haven't won since he left. Michael Jordan didn't just win with the Bulls. He was the Bulls. Stephen Curry isn't just winning in a Warriors jersey. He is the Golden State Warriors. In 2009, he came into a struggling franchise. And over the last 13 seasons, he has turned them into a behemoth. See, mm. it's one Damn. thing to come into <laughs> a... Damn! That cooked it! Who's that, George Hill? God, dog! 13 seasons, he has turned them into a behemoth. See, it's one thing Boy! Get up, son! Get up, son. I <laughs> feel me. Last 13 seasons, he has turned them into a behemoth. See, boy, 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 boy. Oh my to God. A franchise that has seen success. One that has won before him and has championship DNA. It is a completely different accomplishment to be drafted lie. to a franchise that has never even sniffed a title and turned them into a dynasty. Russell did it, Mike did it, Duncan did it, and Steph has spent the last decade doing it as well. But you don't have to watch Steph tear your favorite team apart to see his generational impact. Steph is as important to the Warriors' success as any player has ever been to any team in NBA history. Here's a chart of the top 10 players all time and how many wins they added to their respective teams over the course of their entire career. For example, throughout Wilt Chamberlain's career, his team won Sounds seven- Sam, bro. Wilt ain't even like that, man, but come on, guy. percent more when he played versus when he didn't play. Shaq's teams won 15% more when he played versus when he was sitting out. Now, anything above 10% is incredible, and nearly all of these players are far above that threshold. When Kobe played, the Lakers won 21.5% more games than when he didn't. Larry Bird led I to say, the I already knew LeBron probably got the highest like percentage, or Steph. It's got to be LeBron and Steph. 
effect of the Celtics winning 22.8% more games. And, of course, the two players that had the largest impact on their team's success are Michael Jordan and with a large gap above everyone else, LeBron James. But the most important, most impactful, game-changing player for any franchise in the history of the NBA is Stephen Curry. The Warriors win over 32% more games when Curry is playing versus when he's not. That is the equivalent of Steph adding an additional 26 wins for the Warriors over the course of each regular season of his entire career just by himself. But this isn't some sort of theoretical impact found by just using numbers. We have seen how lost the Warriors are without Steph. Two years ago, just five games into the Warriors season, Steph broke his hand and was sidelined for the remainder of the season. And in that season, the Warriors weren't just bad. They weren't just one of the worst teams in the NBA. They were literally, by far, the worst team in the entire league. The very next season, Steph returned to the lineup and the Warriors' winning percentage more than doubled. And, well, the rest is history. No matter which players come and go, regardless of how the roster changes around Shit, him, Steph man. remains at the center of one of the greatest dynasties in NBA history. The Warriors should have never won this championship. This title was not in the cards for them. A long shot. Is that Anthony Anderson, bro? What the hell are you doing on the stage? Best. Just 10 years ago, it was almost unanimously agreed upon that a team could not win a championship mm. off of three pointers and jump shots. It was believed that you could not win a title with a point guard doing the heavy lifting for your offense. 2015 was a fluke. 2016 was a blown lead. The next two, well, those don't really count, right? They had Kevin Durant. All they do is shoot three. He'll never He's win too again small. They're injury prone. The Warriors Steph aren't even a team. You are getting old. Be a fine run. Just talk. I wouldn't bet against us. Ooh, that was cool. No, that was cool. I ain't gonna lie. That was cool. Injury prone. They really count, right? They had Kevin Durant. All they do is shoot three. He'll never He's win too again. Small. They're injury prone. The Warriors Steph aren't even a team. You are getting old. I wouldn't bet against us. I wouldn't bet against us. That's too cold. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to uh, Jimmy Highroller, man, for the video, though. His videos be pressure, man. Go check him out. The link gonna be down below. You know, go subscribe to me. Uh, of course, hit that sub button. Give me the 500k subs. And smash that like button. Go get your merch first thing down below. I appreciate y'all. But like I said, man, next year it's the Lake Show. It's showtime, baby. Ain't that right, Kobe? Yes, that is right. We're gonna see out here this time next year. But look, without further ado, it's your boy Down and Check out one love. Peace out. Yeah.